I've been in a position to worry about my future career all my life. And I don't mean just at those crossroads where maybe you change a career or you change jobs and you start worrying about the future. No, I mean on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you realize that at the moment it's just not going very well for you or you just don't like it anymore, or the pandemic happened and you start worrying about your employer or even the whole industry that you're working in. Why do you worry about your future career? And I don't mean all these reasons that we come up with. Why exactly are you worrying about it? Once you have your answers, I want you to categorize them into two different buckets. I found that the majority of reasons fell into that first bucket. And that has to do with other people. What does your spouse think, your kids, your friends, your colleagues? What do they think about your career, your future success? It can also mean responsibilities. Maybe you have got a house and a family and kids and a mortgage. And of course, you have to satisfy those responsibilities. And they can make you feel like you don't have as many choices anymore as you used to have. And all these things, why you feel a little bit apprehensive about your future career, I want you to put into that first bucket. And then there is the second category, that second bucket where it's only the reasons that relate purely to yourself. And what I found is that I could ever only come up with two reasons. The first one was that I knew somewhere within myself, I didn't do an as good job anymore as I know I could do. And the second one is that I knew somewhere again within myself that in five years time, five years down the line, I wouldn't feel as excited about that career that I've chosen so far. I wouldn't enjoy the ride very much anymore. We can't control what other people think of us. We can't control even our responsibilities. Yes, over time we can change things around to meet our responsibilities in a different way, but from one moment to the next, we have very little control over that. But that second bucket, that is fully in your control. If you feel that you are not doing an as good job anymore as you did or used to do, then you can work harder or smarter or come up with different solutions. And if indeed you feel that five years down the line, you wouldn't enjoy the same career as much as you used to, again, it is in your control to change those things, to make a turn and to focus on something else. Listen, that's very easy to say and incredibly hard to do. As humans, we very often choose, ironically, unhappiness over uncertainty. We'd rather go down the path where we know we are unhappy, but we also know the end result. On the other hand, if you put a lot of hard work into something new, you may end up with nothing and that uncertainty is scary. Which brings me to this. This is my game of choice. And when I play, I'm serious about it. At least I try to. I start career modes and I want everything as realistic as possible. But it never ends up being too serious, even though I often promise myself when I crash, I just retire from the race, and then I move on to the next stage in the career mode. More often than not, I just restart the race. And because I know exactly where I went wrong, I won't do that again. And as I move along, I crash less often. And every time I do restart the race, I'm still feeling excited about what is to come. I learned, and now I have the chance to prove it. Of course, life isn't a computer game, but it's not as serious as we often want to make us believe. Why do we expect ourselves to know all the answers, to know all the rules as we play along? Sometimes, we crash. Sometimes you will mess up a relationship. Sometimes you will mess up that next job interview that you think is so incredibly important. But wouldn't we benefit from the same attitude when playing a game? That we take a step back, that we learn from what we've just done. And then we get excited about that next opportunity where we can prove ourselves. And this leads me to the two questions that help me when I start worrying about my future career. The first is, what am I afraid of learning about myself? I could put my best foot forward. I can do all the right things. I perform to the best of my abilities. 
and then I still fail. And that's very painful. It shows me that no matter what I do, I still don't obtain the amount of money or fame or wealth, whatever it is, maybe that applies to you, regardless of what I do. And that's not very realistic, but it is a very painful realization. And that also leads me to the second point, the second question I'd ask myself, what if I couldn't fail? Would I do more or less? And the next time you get worried about your future career, realize that for the majority of things that fall into those first bucket that have to do with other people and external circumstances, there is nothing that you can do about. But there are two things that you can do when you do enjoy your career but you have realized that you haven't put your best foot forward, that you could do better, then reset your game. You're not required to know all the answers today. Imagine you just started the job. You would look at some of the hurdles and obstacles in a completely different way. You would see them as opportunities to prove yourself. And when you do realize that five years down the line, the career that you are in probably doesn't make you as happy as it does today or have in the past, then I want you to choose happiness over certainty. Yes, you can go down the path of certainty, follow your career and remain unhappy. But you can also choose courage, courage to change and courage to grow. There are plenty of resources here on the channel that help you with that. I've actually compiled a short playlist of videos that may help you on the path. Click here to watch those next.